Hello team and welcome back to another line war cast. This is your map today. Just like any other line war map, except not at all because they're all randomly and asymmetrically generated. Our two players in this 1v1, Valthor in blue and Bisantos in red. Valthor is going to start in the central part of the island. We can take a look at where Bisantos is thinking about. Actually, never mind. The picking phase would be continuing if... Red had picked a spot at this point. Likely going to see Basantos go somewhere around here with these three energy wells. That will be relatively important. No trade routes on the right hand side. Three trade routes in the bottom. So if Basantos goes in the south, and Red will have a little bit of an advantage in potentially securing those trade routes. I'm probably going to see a lot of play on this central island since it is the biggest one with the most economy. Probably not going to see much development on this little island. If the game goes long enough, then this island in the bottom left will be super, super important. With these two towns, one of which has a port. Valthor's here, so Byzantos is in the south in amongst these these energy wells and as mentioned very close to these three trade routes so multiple things could happen since it's a line war game but one of the uh, like the outcomes here is that Bysantis will try to take this trade route and it'll be up to see if like Valthor spots it and then whether blue decides to get super aggressive when and if that happens neither player is putting down anything yet here comes the first two factories for blue three factories total probably going to see all tanks out of these first three factories with a follow-up of a barracks this is basantos's view so both players can now see that they are very close to each other factory for basantos in the forest and it's actually an artillery piece out of one of the factories from Valthor. Maybe just in case there's a big rush of infantry that goes forward. An artillery piece is nice to have. And it'll be two barracks in, in total for blue to start this game. Two factories with a third factory now for Basantos, all going artillery pieces. And clearly one of the things that is going to happen here is that Valthor is going to take this refinery build a ref refinery there because the next energy well that blue could take is all the way to the north or something in the water and first sam's now for blue there's no airport for red sam's of course just being great to have very defensive units or rather like when you open up a sam like this it's just very comforting And then we'll see that Valthor's going to dig in these Sams right behind where this, this refinery is going to go. And Bessantos puts down a barracks. And we'll begin to start grouping up infantry after capping to the right hand side. Here is that refinery we were talking about from blue to power these tanks. There's two on the field at the moment. There's another two on the way. Basanto sees these these tanks. First factory comes into vision now. And Valthor's view doesn't really know that there's anything in the forest, but that's probably a good guess given the starting locations. And the little fight in the mountains here. Blue has more units and an artillery piece, so Basantos wisely backs up. And the lines say it all, Valthor's going right towards this first where the refinery would be. But Basantos isn't going for any energy units at the moment. Pops down in a second barracks. So the production, based on the building types, are matching at this point. Three factories and soon to be two fully completed barracks for each. The only thing that Basantos is missing from this in comparison to Valthor is of course that refinery. And red going for a town, so this will be huge for red over time if they can stay alive here, get this town up, generating income. 
since it's a very economic move, there's some commandos out now for Valthar that are going to go on the left-hand side of the map. And if we go big picture, Bisantos is a little bit boxed in if we consider that Valthor would have the whole north of the map here. But no eco yet for Valthor, and obviously this, this town would be very strong if it gets up and running. 360 income for blue, 370 for red. And Valthor isn't really, I mean, cap, probably capping at a little bit higher of a pace since there's four infantry, like rather eight infantry total, two groups of four in the north. And there's really only, I guess, seven infantry for Bisantos cap. It's not a huge deal, but Bisantos is gonna run out of territory to cap first potentially unless they get all the way up this right hand side of the map tanks are going to catch an artillery piece out in the open this is where tanks are so strong there's four more rolling in and I think with this many tanks Velther might be able to just overpower this and start attacking this town tanks with their speed very good for them because they can take whatever fights they want in general if the player micros them, they make quick work of these five artillery pieces, or rather four, I can count. I don't know if there are five or four there, but they're crushing them right now. Another third barracks for the Santos. Matching a third barracks for Valthor. Five tanks will get on top of the town, and that is definitely going to be enough for them to destroy it. Even without a little bit of micro. We've seen tons of times how... As the tank player here, you can just make a move command and get rid of that target a little bit to like ring around the Rosie, the tanks around the building. Not necessary there. This is That's a pretty big blow to Red's development, destroying that, that town. 390 income for Red, 410 for Blue. But Santos has two tanks of his own. This is the strength of, of tanks though when they're used like offensively like this is because a lot of units will end up just following them because you kind of have to follow them to get rid of, of these tanks. You can't just let them hang around in the back lines. But the whole time this this is happening it allows Valther's sort of like main army to start capping on the right hand side. Commandos win this fight against that infantry. And three tanks on the way for Basantos, who puts down this refinery. Transition to tanks could be really good for Red in that there's an open field right from these factories to Valthor's production. I mean, the same thing that Valthor just did and rolled these tanks across this open field. There could be an opportunity for Basantos to mass a bunch of tanks and then do the exact same thing. But in general, Blue's economy is going to be growing quicker than Red's at the moment. Which kind of changes things. Four more tanks. Of course, Blue is continuing to make tanks off of three factories. Blue's only using two factories for building tanks. Red is using all three factories. And it'll be difficult for either player to secure a second refinery, since they're both probably going to fight over these two. Valther's already deciding to try to dig in on these refineries to make sure that they can secure it. And a, a big eye has to be kept on these four tanks from blue, because they're very close to these factories. Valthor's vision is such that they can see one of the tanks, the other, or one of the factories, pardon me, the other two factories are still concealed in the forest. And here come these three tanks in the back to jump on this refinery again. And at this point, it's so strong because this could be a game ending move. In that these blue tanks attack this refinery, and then I believe Basantos will be out of energy after using the starting 25. And if this happens then, and it will because these three tanks, I mean tanks destroy things so quickly when they get on target. 
It was pretty good reaction time from Red to send the tanks there, but it's not quite in time for those three blue tanks, now two blue tanks, to snipe that refinery and get out of here. And now Valther's going to push into the forest, knowing that these red tanks can't move. Very wise switch to artillery from Red, seeing as any tank that pops out won't be able to move in general. And this is officially like a very difficult position for red to come back and i think at least my read would be one factory goes down maybe these blue tanks get caught in the forest these two tanks in the back are going to destroy one of the barracks and income wise 410 for red 540 for blue who is capped significantly to the north And even with these artillery pieces already deployed, it takes so many shots to destroy these tanks. There's no helicopters from Red. I mean, there's no way that they would possibly be able to afford helicopters. And even if there were helicopters, it's a decent amount of SAMs for blue. And for folks who I feel like sometimes in the Discord, there's questions about like how to deal with tanks. One of the best ways to deal with tanks is one, build your own tanks, which I've learned the hard way, playing on ladder. But also to prioritize destroying your enemy's refinery. We see just how effective that is when Valathor does it. For the last however many minutes or seconds, all these red tanks have just been essentially like dead upkeep. And now it's tough. There's three factories and four barracks for blue. Only two factories, two barracks for red. These two tanks also might be in trouble on the bottom left because this is red's vision. The Santos realizes that there's commandos here capping since nothing can be seen. So if these two tanks just rolled over, they would actually be able to be destroyed by those commandos. There's some industry now for Valthor to the north which will further widen that economic lead Basantos remakes one of the factories if Valthor can get this second refinery up and keep this tank count advantage I'm not really sure what Red would be able to do in a situation like this there's one tank just still chilling. Staying alive. Which has to be super annoying if you're red. And again, vision test. So these commandos are so so close to all these buildings and units that they're all exposed at this point. And now these red tanks should be able to destroy them. These commandos. And pretty soon, Red's going to be at the point where one refinery isn't enough to sustain how many tanks are being moved around. And that's why it's going to be so important for Blue to set up this second refinery. Commandos are stealth until they get close enough to all these infantry to reveal them. And given the numbers, I think it's going to be relatively close, but I've, Red might be able to take this. The one thing about commando infantry fights that I always forget about is that as the infantry lose their numbers, they stop being able to see all the commandos. This is a really good split, I think. If that was a split from Basantos to get all the infantry fighting. And that beep beep is Basantos running low on energy. There's an airport now for Valthor. And it'll be super, super difficult if Valther is able to get any amount of helicopters out of this airport. Presumably it's going to be helicopters. We've been seeing a lot of helicopter tank action lately. Valther capping a territory on the far right-hand side. Oh, there is actually a second refinery back here. Didn't even see it. It changes things. I feel like if now that Red has a second refinery, the name of the game might be for Basantos to actually just make sure that 
blue can't get a second refinery and then get such a good tank count but the helicopters for valthor there it is it's a it is a helicopter that's starting those are gonna get super scary the santos is gonna jump now i think this is the probably the best time to go heading right towards this refinery Still, two refiners for red, I guess, isn't quite enough to run these tanks. I was kind of surprised. No, now it's online. Balthor re realizes how important this is. I'm going to send all the units on all these tanks. The, pr the tanks are probably going to get end up getting body blocked by how many infantry there are here. So, Basantos wisely backs up. The airport, unfortunately, was not spotted. And eco is so important here. 490 for red and 696 now for blue, who's got some more industry built in the north. And Valther's going to push across this field along a wide front. Let me check Basantos' vision. Definitely looks like a push from blue. So a little bit of an army on the right-hand side to cap back all this territory from Valthor and make sure that these commandos can't get any further. Which is super important. But this will be a tough defend. There's no SAMs for red yet. There's only one helicopter done for Valthor, but it can get in the fight immediately. It's a good tank count. For red, four tanks for blue, though, and a whole bunch of infantry. And importantly, a pretty enormous army, all things considered, at this stage in the game. Bearing down on Basantos' base. It is two barracks on the right-hand side, building commandos for Valthor. Basantos backs up these tanks... Trading, trading land for time to get this defense going. There's a decent number of artillery now for Basantos in this forest. The defensive line at the edge of the forest for red is thinning. But Basantos still has seven tanks on the left-hand side on this flank. And if they could somehow break out, it'd be huge, but this is very threatening at the moment. Two infantry are going to have to take on a commando there. I don't think Red's going to be able to destroy all those barracks. Then what a fight. Yeah, okay, so the hell I was wondering where the helicopter is. It's on the right-hand side here. Super far away, away from where there would be any Sams. The Santos might be able to clean this up. And then Red would have an enormous amount of artillery to go back across and try to push. I think that's like really the only option at this point, but there's still no Sams, unfortunately. These two barracks are huge because they're going to cap back some of this territory from Red. And two helicopters now complete for Blue. The second one is lifting off the airport and getting into the fight. Valthor goes for a town somewhere. No, this is Basantos going for a town somewhere. That we hear, that honk honk. Yeah, here it is. How do I not see this? There it is. One of the trade route locations. A good garrison of units on this back refinery and on this refinery as well. A switch to Sam's on one of the factories. We can see the income is still super far apart at this point 510 for red 766 for blue and helicopters are going to try to snipe this refiner at least get relatively close to it it is a target command from the helicopters only four infantry unfortunately won't be able to shoot down that helicopter and now Valthor blockades a little bit Which kind of forces Basantos to go to the right-hand side. It's difficult to engage this many artillery. 
and Sam's. The only weak point really is is this side. But Valther's gonna build an entrenchment. Because I mean tanks could kind of bust up this left hand side. There's no no real tank numbers for red at this point, unfortunately. To even do that. And as time goes on, there's gonna be more and more helicopters that blue can muster. Now about eight commandos on the right hand side. And it, it would look like Red is starting to gear up to maybe go for a push here. All these units, these blue artillery are derping out in the entrenchment. They aren't quite ready. So it's a great time for Red to jump on this. And, and notably, I think these artillery pieces probably take fatigue damage because they are the ones that are digging in here. So Red might be able to actually run this over. But it will be the economy that Blue has behind this that will be difficult to deal with. Sam's will dip out of the entrenchment and retreat first. There's tanks somewhere. It's four tanks for Valthor on the right hand side heading towards these barracks. There's some commandos alongside the tanks. Red is pushing back blue on this western flank. And maybe if Basantos can defend these tanks, but the tanks are just going to jet by these infantry and get on top of this town. Good reaction from Red. But how quickly these tanks are going to be able to destroy this town. It means it's just going to be, they're going to do it four tanks. I mean, the only reason they're kind of not is because they're Congo lining their way into the town. And only one of them's really attacking it. Two helicopters. Huge against this many artillery pieces. There's some blue infantry tracking down these Sams in the forest. The town does go down and those tanks are still loose. Infantry were great to, to force these Sams to take this fight and not necessarily be able to go right towards these artillery pieces. Now they get finally do. It's just one left at this point. And there's so many commandos on the right hand side. Or blue. Bombers now for Valthor. The range of these bombers probably not far enough to get this refinery but certainly everything at this part of Red's base. And really showcasing the maneuverability of tanks and how infuriating they can be to deal with. It really just reminds me, I gotta make more tanks when I'm on ladder. Folks, which also self-plug. Twitch.tv slash sodaquackers. To watch me use more tanks, I guess. Here's the graphs. A little bit of a boxing situation. Well played both. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Thank you for the support. In whatever way you show it. I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you are. We'll see you soon. Enjoy. Peace.